The Rockford Files, a TV series from the mid-1970s, stands as a classic in the world of detective shows. It centers around Jim Rockford, an ex-convict turned private investigator known for his wry humor and a knack for getting into trouble. The series is celebrated for its blend of drama, action, and humor, making it a unique and memorable part of television history. What makes this show an everlasting symbol of the industry? Perhaps it's the way it combines wit, suspense, and a touch of the everyday struggles of a private eye. Its portrayal of a detective not as a superhero, but as an everman adds a layer of relatability that has stood the test of time. On a personal note, this series has inspired many, including myself, with its portrayal of resilience and determination. Jim Rockford's ability to bounce back from adversity while maintaining a sense of humor offers a powerful life lesson in perseverance and positivity. Now let's delve into the many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this iconic show. But before we get lost in the twists and turns of Jim Rockford's world, I'm curious what is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Rockford Files? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The Rockford Files, a popular 1970s TV series, really captures the feel of California at that time and is still loved by many. The show is mainly famous because of James Garner, who plays Jim Rockford, a private detective in Los Angeles. Garner's Rockford is a mix of charm, humor, and toughness, making him both believable and likable. His role as a former prisoner who becomes a detective in a city full of crime offers an engaging story that keeps drawing in viewers. The show is well known for mixing drama and comedy with stories that are both fun and make you think. This balance, combined with Garner's great acting, makes it easy and fun to watch. The show also features many guest stars like Jill Clayburgh, Joseph Cotton, Suzanne Somers, Sharon Gless, and James Cromwell, adding more interest to the episodes. However, fans have complained about how some TV channels like the Hallmark Channel have edited episodes, changing how the stories flow. Despite this, the show remains popular mostly because of Garner's strong performance. The action scenes in the show, especially the car chases with Rockford's well-known Firebird, are exciting. The theme song is also memorable and goes well with the unique voicemail messages that start each episode. In short, The Rockford Files is a great example of a 1970s TV show with a good mix of action, comedy, and drama. James Garner's role as Jim Rockford is key to its success, making the show a lasting favorite for new fans. David Chase, who later created the famous TV show The Sopranos, was also behind the series we're talking about. In The Sopranos, there's a cool little reference to his earlier work. In one episode, characters in a retirement home are watching TV. You can't see the screen, but you can hear the theme music from this other show, which is a neat way to pay respect to it. This TV show is often listed as one of the best ever. It's not just because of the great writing and acting. It was also really different for its time, especially with its main character, Jim Rockford. He wasn't your usual TV detective. He often struggled with money, didn't always get along with the police, and sometimes even got in trouble with the law. The way he was shown in fights was also more realistic. He didn't always win and sometimes got hurt, which made his character feel more real. There's a fun fact about the show, too. In the opening credits, you see Rockford's phone number as 555-2368. TV and movies in the U.S. often use numbers that start with 555 so people don't bother real phone users by calling them. AT&T made sure these 555 numbers aren't used in real life. This became a well-known thing in American TV and movies. So, this series is really special for how it changed the detective show style, its believable characters, and how it influenced other TV shows like The Sopranos. Its use of the 555 phone number is a small detail, but it's part of what makes it a classic in the world of TV. James Lewisy, who later became familiar as Lieutenant Dud Chapman in this show, initially appeared as a different character. In a season two episode titled Joey Blue Eyes, Lewisy portrayed Burt Stryker, a criminal adversary of the main character. This early role contrasted sharply with his later, more regular position as a law enforcement officer from the third season onwards. The production of the series was a joint effort involving three companies. It was a collaborative project between Roy Huggins's and James Garner's production companies alongside Universal Television. 
The show encountered some contractual disputes, notably with actress Gretchen Corbett, leading to her exit during the fourth season. James Garner also engaged in legal action against Universal Television, claiming he was not receiving a fair share of the syndication profits. This dispute, spanning several years, eventually culminated in an out-of-court settlement. The specific details of this agreement were kept confidential. It is known that Garner's production company, Cherokee Productions, held a 37.5% stake in the series. The remaining 62.5% was divided between Huggins's company and Universal Television, though the exact distribution of this share remains unclear. An interesting detail in the series' portrayal of characters can be observed in the first season. In one of the early episodes, the main character mistakenly refers to Dennis Becker as Lieutenant Becker. However, Dennis was actually a sergeant during the first four seasons and only received a promotion to lieutenant in the fifth season. This progression in Dennis Becker's rank is reflective of the show's attention to character development and continuity. This series, with its unique blend of humor, action, and character-driven stories, continues to be a subject of discussion and admiration among fans and critics alike. Its influence and legacy in the world of television are marked not only by its storytelling, but also by the complexities of its production and the real-life challenges it faced. In the series, the protagonist home doubles as his office, a 1959 Nasher House mobile home. This setting is notable for its practical setup during filming. Typically, the fourth wall of this mobile home set was removed to facilitate easy camera access, especially for shots behind the protagonist's desk. When the scene required, a temporary wall was erected for shots facing the opposite direction. The series faced a significant challenge in its final season. James Garner, the lead actor, fell ill, necessitating a hiatus with 10 episodes partially completed. Unfortunately, during his absence, the network decided to cancel the series. A recurring element in the show is the protagonist's use of aliases. When gathering information undercover, he frequently adopts the name Jim Taggart, in situations involving a con, his go-to alias is Jimmy Joe Meeker. These aliases became a signature aspect of his character, adding depth and a sense of cunning to his investigative methods. Joseph Rocky Rockford, portrayed as Jim Rockford's father in the series, presents an interesting aspect of character naming. His name was a tribute to co-writer Stephen J. Cannell's own father. However, the nickname Rocky primarily stemmed from his last name, not his first. The decision to use Rockford as the last name was influenced by Cannell finding it in the Universal Studios employee directory, showcasing a blend of personal significance and serendipity in naming characters. James Garner's connection to his character extended beyond acting. He revealed that Jim Rockford's license plate number, 853 OKG, held a personal meaning. Created by his agent, Meta Rosenberg, it represented a significant date in Garner's life, August 1953, marking the beginning of his acting career. The OKG stood for Oklahoma, his home state, and his own surname, Garner. This detail added a layer of personalization to the character's iconic Firebird. The character Jim Rockford's origins can be traced back to an unproduced script for another ABC series, Toma. This script underwent significant rewrites to become the pilot for this series. Both ABC and NBC initially had reservations about the scripts, finding them too humorous for a dramatic series. These networks frequently requested the removal of comedic lines. However, the writers, backed by James Garner, stood firm, insisting on retaining the humor. This tension between drama and humor became a defining characteristic of the show, setting it apart from other detective series of the time. The series, in its creative journey and character development, reflects a blend of personal influences, actor input, and a strong stand on creative vision. Its unique approach to storytelling, character depth, and humor amidst drama has contributed to its lasting appeal in television history.